Rokon 23. That's right. It is here. It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23.com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This is your host, Debbie. Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This is your host, Debbie, here in the studio. And as you guys can see, we have some very special guests. We have one in the studio and one on the screen. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Craig Copeland. I'm the general manager for Camp Info Waco. I'm Tessa McCracken. I'm the CMO for Northgate Resorts, the creators of Camp Info. All right. And one of the first questions I always ask is, what brought you to Waco or are you a Waco native? What brought me to Waco was Camp Info. Um, I was born and raised in Abilene, Texas, but I spent the last 20 or so years outside of Texas traveling around doing resorts in the U.S. and in the Caribbean and Mexico. Wow. Uh, well, I am obviously not in Waco, <laughs> but I've been admiring from afar for, for a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, so you said you have been traveling all over, so you just came from Panama, right? Correct. I was over there for two years doing a resort uh, on an island off of an island wow. in the Caribbean. An island off of an island. That sounds like my kind of life. Um, so tell me more about Camp Finfo. Um, so what is Camp Finfo? Yeah, so I can take this one. So we created Camp Info because we wanted to create a new kind of camping experience, something that was accessible to all different kinds of campers, whether you're a tent camper, an RVer, or you're a glamper. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of different kinds of camp resorts out there, and some of them can be super luxurious, others can be really rustic. And we wanted to do something in between where you could anyone in your party could find something to do. So on our property, we'll have everything from a swim up bar to a water park to mini golf and really everyone in your party is gonna be able to find something to, to do with us. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. And I know you guys specialize in glamping. Um, so I was just telling him that me and my husband, we've been RVers for the past two years. Um, we live full time in an RV and we just recently bought our first house. Um, so what are all those amenities for everywhere in between? Yeah, so um, for glamping, it really can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, glamping can. But basically, to me, I think about glamping, making the camping experience more accessible. You know, um, it can be a little bit intimidating for people to go camping the first time or, you know, so some people have this image of what camping is in their mind. And so we're really trying to push what what that is. So with glamping, you know, that can mean everything from if you're an RVer to making sure we have really um nice padded sites, you know, with full hookups and things like that to, like I said, we have a water park. I, that's definitely not your standard for, for uh, an RV resort. So really pushing the, the bound there. And we're also um, paying a lot of attention to design within the property and doing things like elevated food. I mean, not all campgrounds have a chef and we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, and I know that you're actually um, in your beautiful background, um, he said is similar to the one in the general store. So when you're talking about design, um, you guys really want to bring almost that luxury, that um, design aspect to it, um, especially since we're in Waco, home to Magnolia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're trying to approach it like as if we're a boutique hotel. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, so why did you guys choose Waco? Yeah, you know, I think you you mentioned um, Magnolia. I think that Waco's just been like growing in popularity for mm -hmm. a long time, and it's it's truly an area that we had our our eye on for a while. And I think that there was this this land where it, that became available, and we saw a vision for it. And I think that's the the main reason, you know. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, and what is behind your name? So why Finfo? <laughs> yeah, so. Um, Craig is now a pro at answering this question, I feel like, so he might do a better job than I I would. But so we wanted to, Finfo is a unique concept, so we wanted to come up with a unique name for it. Mm -hmm. And so you may have to visit us to figure out, you know, what it, what it stands for. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we really just wanted to do something different that would stand out. I love that. Rogue Con 23. That's right. It is here. 
It's not back. It's here. It's the first one. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It is all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues, January 20th through the 22nd of 2023. Now, if you want to go, you got to get tickets, and tickets are on sale at roguecon23.com. That's roguecon, R-O-G-U-E-C-O-N 23.com. Be there. I'm going to be there. Everybody's going to be there. Let's go. And so you guys are here in Waco. Have you guys had any other locations? Yeah, so we opened our first location last year in New Braunfels. Um, and so we have plans to open more in the future, but we knew we wanted to, to you know, do our first few locations in Texas. We love the Texas market. Yeah, that's amazing and fantastic. Um, so what is the real mission behind Camp Fimpo? Yeah, so the mission is just to get more people camping at its core, you know, get more people outside. Um, you know, I always say like summers weren't meant to be spent in front of the TV. So getting more families out to enjoy the outdoors and, and have everything be more accessible, like I said, with no matter what kind of camper you are, we'll be able to find something for you. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, and so you guys have now been open in Waco for like a week, right? Yeah, we're going on our second week here in Waco. Uh, first weekend was a huge success. Mm -hmm. um, we had live entertainment both Friday and Saturday night. Um, guests uh, seemed to be extremely happy with all the amenities and everything that we were providing for them. And the food and beverage was also a, a great hit with great reviews over the first couple weekends. Yeah, um, one of my friends, she's actually um, one of the bartenders over there, and she said you guys are going to have some amazing live music and other events. Tell me about that. Sure. Uh, every weekend, it's either a Friday or Saturday night, we'll have live music. Uh, we have an activities calendar on our website. So our guests know um, what night uh, that we'll have the live music or we'll have a movie night out by the pool. We have like a 20 foot by 12 foot movie screen that we do movies after dark out there. Um, so all of our activities are planned ahead of time so that our guests coming in when they book, they know what's going on on site. Wow, that's fantastic. And I know she already mentioned that you guys have a chef and you're planning on doing chef events. We do. We have a uh, a really good chef. Uh, Sean Kelly is our chef. Uh, he helped start Magnolia Table. He helped with the startup of Milo and with Guest Barbecue. Um, has a great uh, Southern culinary background. And uh, we're going to be doing a series of chef uh, events, um, dinners throughout the fall series, up four to five of them. They'll be pre-planned um, chefs coming in, the local chefs and the out-of-town chefs that he's um, some of his mentors in the past, things like that. Um, be some really cool things going on to look forward to. Wow, that sounds absolutely amazing. Um, and then you guys will have events coming up and they'll be on your event calendar. Um, and then what other things are you guys trying to plan by the end of 2022? By the end of 2022, we're, we're hoping to have all of our cabins in place, set, ready to go. Um, we've got custom cabins being built on site. We have 35 of those. And we'll have another 100 park model cabins that'll be rolling in through the next couple of months. And oh we're hoping gosh. to have everything up and running um, by January 1st, 2023. Wow, that sounds fantastic. And what a better opportunity to have a cabin. Um, so tell me about the cabins. Are they going to be like rentals? Are you guys doing long term? Or are they just for the weekend? They're, uh, so it's basically, it's a campground resort. Mm -hmm. So instead of a six-story tall resort we're just horizontal <laughs> um, so we're spread out over 211 acres along the bosky river and their their rentals uh transient occupancy rentals uh, just like a hotel room wow that's absolutely fantastic um and so i know we've kind of already touched on this but you guys are right on the brazos river um that is absolutely going to bring you guys more business um what would you say is one of the reasons why you're needed here in waco I think it's just to give uh, guests traveling and just um, a closer place to go to mm -hmm. um, instead of traveling, especially with the way gas prices are these days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've, we've seen a lot of uptick in probably people that are within 30 to 45 minutes away mm -hmm. that want to steal vacation and camp. Um, so we're giving them a better uh, venue and avenue to do that and closer yeah. to them, as well with everything that's going on downtown in the city of Waco. Um, we want to be a part of that and then offer a different uh, type of lodging accommodation for guests that are coming to Waco. 
Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, and so I know that you've already plugged your guys' yourselves into the Waco community. Um, is there anybody that's kind of helped you on this journey or anybody you would like to shout out? Yes, uh, Startup Waco downtown mm-hmm. has helped us a lot. We officed out of there since last November. Oh, wow. Um, so our management team had come on really early in the game to make sure everything was set up and prepared ahead of time. Um, so they, we had offices at Startup Waco, and they were very accommodating to us. Um, we've also had Intrepid Project Management this group in town that's mm-hmm. project managing the site as well. Um, George Thornton and Brian Nicholson have been a great help with their knowledge of the city and their contacts within the, the city of Waco. So they've been a great help as well. Yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. Um, so it sounds like you've already been a part of our community and people are getting excited to head over there and book their spot. Um, give us all the information on where we can find you, where we can find out more. Sure, yeah, we have a website. It's um, campinfo.com. It'll have both of our locations so they can check out our new Bronzeville site and the Waco site. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's an activity page. There's a menu page for the restaurant. Um, so they can find all the information on our website as well. And our uh, restaurant and tavern, Squirrelly's Tavern, is open uh, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days a week. And it's open to the public, too, to come out if they want to uh, enjoy the delicious food that Chef Sean's drumming up. Oh, yeah, that sounds amazing. Well, I'm super excited. I'm definitely going to have to go over there and check it out. And I hope our listeners go over and check it out, too. We do too. Is uh, we also offer day campers passes, so mm-hmm. if people want to come and experience it without actually booking a cabin or an RV site, they have the ability to come and use the amenities at the park with the day camper pass and experience the pool, the splash pad, miniature golf, all of our sports courts, um, enjoy the restaurant as well. So we're off. We have that option for the locals to, to partake in to come and hang out. Yeah, awesome. Well, is there anything else you would like to share with our guests today? I, we just uh, really was, you know, hope people come out and and see the property, um, check it out. It's something different and new, unique than a lot of RV uh, campground resorts. Mm-hmm. Um, we've taken a lot of pride both here with my on-site staff, as well as the corporate office in Michigan, with a lot of planning for over a year now to to make this become a realization and the vision. And um, we're all very proud of it. So we're hoping that people come out and take a look and be proud of it as well. Even if um, just a local from Waco can come see it and say, okay, this is something to be proud about in Waco is Camp Finfo that we have in our city. And I heard you guys are going to be having a ribbon cutting too. Tell me more about that. We are Monday, August 1st um, at 11 a.m. We're having a ribbon cutting with the Chamber of Commerce. All of our contractors that have been a big part of the project will be on site as well as um, a lot of the city council, um, people in the city that have been a part of this um, from the onset as well. And we'll have uh, Chef Sean's working up sample food for all the guests, and we're allowing uh, the guests that are coming out to bring their families. They can um, use the amenities for the day and experience Camp Finfo. So we give them not only just a ribbon cutting, but we give them a taste of what we have to offer out there at Camp Info. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. Well, I'm definitely going to try and be there then. Come on out. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and dedication to this project. Um, and I'm sure the Waco community is going to love it, as well as all the tourists coming in. Thank you for having us. All right. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Find us everywhere on all social media platforms, K-N-O-W underscore Waco. Check us out at roguemedianetwork.com and we're on YouTube under Rogue Media Network. Check out nowaco.com. Join the ultimate celebration of digital content with its creators, passionate fans, and industry experts. It's all happening in downtown Waco across multiple venues on January 20th through the 22nd, 2023. Tickets are on sale now at roguecon23.com.